Subi Fest 1. Subi Fest 1 was an interesting event. Um, first car was a 2005 WRX. Um, it was fully built for a street car. Really didn't have any intentions of making it a track car. But uh, we got lured into uh, going out and uh, against other people's best judgment, we went out anyway. Uh, so that car um, went out on the track City Fest 1. We had a semi-professional driver driving it uh, on street tires. Um, 200 tread wear street tires, but still street tires. Um, we did, I think, one practice session and then our go session is when the accident happened. <laughs> Um, so he lost the rear end going in a turn two at Pacific Raceways and rolled it seven and a half times. Met the car on the trailer or on the back of the truck so it was coming off the track and uh, uh, my stomach just sunk. It was, it was nothing left. The car looked like someone had wrung it out like a dish rag. I actually didn't go out seeking to build another car right away. This car uh, showed up as a, as a theft recovery from one of the guys on the forums. And I went and looked at it and it was nothing. It was a shell. And um, I had to convince my wife that it was worth building and uh, would be financially a good decision, which <laughs> turned out not to be. <laughs> Well, I figured that I had uh, gained enough friends in the, in the Subaru world that I could get the parts that I needed and put one back together. And I knew the cars inside and out, so it wasn't a matter of uh, having technical issues. It was just about getting the parts that we needed. So I was pretty confident that I could build another one really quickly. Quickly in at that stage of the build was probably like three to six months, but that quickly turned into seven years. The vision for it really came to just just showing what, what's out there. What are our possibilities? Really, we weren't looking for peak horsepower numbers. We we're looking for a motor that could sur survive, um, that could actually be a high mileage built motor. Wasn't really what was popular. Popular was big horsepower numbers. Use smart part decisions. Um, use as much OEM parts as possible on this motor. I used as many OEM things as I could because we all know that they spent all the money in R&D. They have bigger budgets than anybody else. Why kick some of the best engineered parts to curb? So this motor makes a very conservative 410 wheel horsepower at 19 pounds. Bigger brakes, we put uh, Brembo six piston Gran Turismo calipers on the front um, with stock brakes on the rear, stock STI Brembo's on the rear. Special color, yes, a Fiat yellow, actually. So we, that's one of my favorite colors. We uh, incorporated that into the brakes, into the mirrors, into the decals, and there's some yellow bits all around the car. As the project grew, you know, some of the details, they grew. Now they become machine parts, designed in CAD and cut, and now they're, you know, they're machined and then they're anodized, and now it's a, an actual part, you know, a real part. Um, that's what really, Mix sets this car apart for me is I feel like we have a lot of parts that have been designed in CAD specifically for this application. Um, we got to a point where it was basically no exception of limits. So whatever needed to happen, if it was within reason, within budget, uh, we made it happen. You know, we found the right people that could help direct it and make it happen. So we've got Sparco seats, um, we've got carpet in it, so it's kind of a blend because, well, I wanted to have a little bit of sound dampening, but the carpet is only in kind of the front part of the cabin. It's got the welded-in roll cage, um, 
six point roll bar in there. Um, the back has all been painted so there's no back seat. It has a carbon fiber roof, actual real panel that's been bonded on, carbon fiber door panels, so some details along the way. So the suspension is another one of my favorite parts. So I got to speak and work with some of the really smart guys at JRZ um, and at Ground Control to put the package together. They really did a good job helping me out, figuring out what spring rates and what not to run. And then I went to my other resource that so we talked about resources. You know, we went to JC and said, hey, you're running similar suspension. What springs should I use? And, you know, to show what kind of guy he was, I got a package in the mail from him with springs in it. He's like, run these springs. Your car is set up like this, run these springs. This car is the complete opposite of the first car. And any, any, any lack of area that the first car had, this car exceeds that and then some. So driving it, yeah, the sound that it makes, it's loud. Um, there's no met there's no rubber bushings in the car anymore. Everything is heim jointed. Um, and so it tracks and it handles and it gives you a lot of feedback. So it's constantly telling you something. With a four inch exhaust, it's just all kinds of just no air, wind noises, exhaust noises, pump, fuel pump noises, you know, you can hear the, you can actually hear the fuel return because it's mounted to the firewall. You hear everything, you know, because everything is solid mounted. When fans come on, you hear them. It's just this invigorating sound driving this. So that's why I said it's just like a motorcycle. The car may be around you, but you are very much a part of the experience. And so it's, it's, it's an awesome feeling. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm not disclosing the budget. <laughs> you guys ready? We were outclassed by Kendrick's car by several orders of magnitude. Plus, uh, I don't like breaking things and I could smell clutch. And that always makes me a bit nervous. I mean, I, I guess in that, in, in that sense, I'm, I'm conservative to the point of boring. Um, but I enjoy my car mostly for how it makes me feel rather than can it beat everybody else's car on the block. The car was a little slower in the drag race than I had anticipated it would be, but all in all, the car handled about like I thought. Tried to, tried to catch me on the slalom a little bit, but that was probably just uh, old tires. What do you think we should do next? I think next you should go and rally the hell out of it. I don't do anything else with this car but put gas in it and change the oil. That's it, it is completely done. No, that's a lie. Um, there's still some fine details that I'm trying to work out. Um, so just some finishing touches to it, just to make sure that it, it's capped off exactly how I want it to be. Um, and it's, re it's really close, but right now my focus is getting out, showing the car to people that, you know, that have been in the, the Subaru scene for the last 10 years and a lot of people that haven't been. Um, and just rekindling old relationships and friendships and just getting back out there having a good time. <laughs>